Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me. Today I get to share with you a brand new stamp set that will be in the Gerda Steiner Design Shop on August 30th. So this is kind of like a sneak peek of a brand new stamp set, a sneak peek and a project. <laughs> so we're gonna jump in and doing some stamping. This here is called the Sneaky Raccoons stamp set. And again, it'll be available in the Gerda Steiner Shop. Um, on August 30th, in case you guys want to check it out. But it has four cute little raccoons that coordinate with the sentiments beautifully. And then the sentiments are buildable too, which is great. There's a main sentiment that says, just sneaking by to say. And then you can add the sentiment that says, love you lots, hello, thank you, or hi, or even hang in there. So a lot of cute little images. So for today's card, I chose the raccoon that's holding the little sign. It's a little wood sign. I'm stamping him on some Nina 80 pound cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And then we're gonna bring in a piece of masking paper. This is Gina K Masking Magic. I'm gonna stamp the raccoon on my mask and then um, it didn't need to fit completely on there because I just wanted the bottom portion to be masked off. So his head's chopped off, but that's okay. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and take scissors and busty cut out um, all the way to the line, at least on the bottom area. And then um, we'll just remove the release paper and place our mask right over our stamped image. This way in the stamp set, there is a tree trunk. And this way we could stamp the tree trunk right, right below him. And then um, it looks like it's one continuous image and it looks like he's standing on our tree trunk. Just love doing this. I had a blob of ink and I was hoping it wasn't gonna transfer, but it's stamped beautifully. Lovely. Okay, we'll just remove our mask and we're gonna color. We're gonna color with um, Copic markers. So both the paper and the ink are Copic friendly. Um, I'm gonna play a little music while I color and then when I'm done, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. And I think he's just so cute. Super easy to color in. Okay, now we're gonna stamp our sentiment. Um, we're gonna stamp it right on the inside of the little sign that he's holding. So I thought we'd do some heat embossing just so it pops a little bit. So I used my anti-static powder tool right over the sign. I'm gonna stamp the sentiment that says hello. So I will use my Versamark ink, stamp that on the inside again of the sign. And then we're gonna go over it with some white embossing powder and then um, tap off the excess and then we're gonna heat emboss the word hello. Now, after I got this done, I thought, you know what? We could add a little bit of extra, you know, I like dimension on my cards. I like frames and dimension. And so we're gonna do both of those today. <laughs> so I thought we'd do a little bit more stamping. We're gonna stamp the same raccoon on our panel here but this time we're only gonna color in the, um, the little wood sign in, the, in his little hands. I use the same colors that I used um, on my original image, and I thought this way we could pop up the little sign that he was holding, just to give an added little extra detail. Um, I'll treat my little sign with my anti-static powder tool, but this time I thought instead of using white, we'll use gold. So I'll stamp the word hello with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I use black ink because for one, I can see where I'm stamping and two, it stays sticky. Um, that way I can add my gold embossing powder. 
I thought we'd just shake it up a little bit with some gold. <laughs> okay, once this is melted, I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut out my um, first image and my second gold hello sentiment. And then I'll go all the way to the line on that image. This way when I do my layering, you can't you, you don't have a white border. After it's fussy cut, I did take my black marker and went around the edges. It cleans up my fussy cutting, gives me um, a nice crisp little sign. <laughs> and I think that looks so cute. And you can see my main image, I did um, leave a little bit of a white border. Just easier when you fussy cut. And good news guys, um, Gerda Steiner Shop will have coordinating dies that coordinate with a stamp set. So um, I'll leave a link to the Gerda Steiner Shop down below. But again, it's, it won't be available until next week. So just keep a lookout for it, guys. I did add a foam tape behind my sign and placed them on, um, just layered it on top of the old one. Okay, for my background, um, I thought we'd just do something fun. So I'm taking the sentiment that says hi and I'm stamping it all over my background, kind of wonky all over. And um, as I look at it now, after I stamped the word hi, I have a tendency to tilt towards the right. So most of them are actually tilted towards the right. Um, hindsight, I think it later on, I would have, um, should have shifted it a little bit more towards the left, <laughs> but it worked out great. I added gold embossing powder and heat set that. Um, and I did stamp on Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. It's great for ink blending. And so that's the cardstock that we used. And we're gonna do ink blending with oxide inks. So I have three colors. I have, um, first was worn lipstick. The second one is um, um, scattered straw. And then the third one was cracked pistachio. I thought these three colors create a nice little rainbow. So we're just covering the entire background and I'm adding color at a diagonal. So um, it looks like a little diagonal rainbow. Once I'm happy with the blending, I'm gonna add some water droplets. I'll let that ink oxidize for a little bit and then use my towel and pick up all the excess. And I think that creates a real fun background. And that gold just pops against those colors. Okay, now we're gonna do some die cutting our background panels. I'm gonna be using a scallop stitched rectangle die and cut out my background with the largest one that I have here. And then of course we need a frame. I love my frames. I don't know, I just, it's just me um, and my style. I guess that's what I'm, I'm, you probably know it's my card if there's a frame on there and lots of dimension. <laughs> okay, we're just lining it up to the area that I want showing on my background. And then I'm gonna take in, bring in a piece of white cardstock. I'm gonna use a stitch rectangle die and put it inside my scallop frame to create the same size um, frame, basically. So I have a background and a frame. I did add some foam tape behind my, my frame, you can see here, and then we're gonna layer them both together. I love using the scalloped, the stitch scalloped die with my double stitch rectangle die because it has two stitch lines, which makes it really neat frame. Okay, that's it here. And now we're gonna take some tape and add that to the back side, and then place it on an A2 size card base right in the middle. And I love how bright and bold our rainbow is on the inside of the frame. And then we have that nice subtle white background. We're gonna add our little raccoon, place him right in the middle. And since he is predominantly brown, um, you know, warm grays and brown, I think it just stands out against that white, um, background and our colorful rainbow. Love the way these, this turned out. I am gonna add a little bit of sparkle using some clear sequins. And then um, once we have that done, I'm gonna take my black jelly roll pen and brighten up his little eyes a bit, just so they stand out a little bit more. And then that completes my card for today, guys. This is the Sneaky Raccoons stamp set that will be coming soon to you. So keep a lookout for that. I think these critters are so cute and I have fun coloring in them too. Thanks so much for stopping by guys. I wish you a fantastic weekend and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.